In this video, what I want to walk you through are the major structures within the mediastinum as well as the lymph nodes within the chest. For more educational resources, like our medical ID card, check out medicalbasics.com. So this case was from casestacks.com, which has a series of cases for chest x-rays, for CTs, and MRIs. So if you want to check them out, I'll leave the link down in the description below. First thing, though, is going to be going over the major structure in the media sign, the, the main one being your heart. So this is going to be our right atrium. It's going to be our right ventricle, our uh, interventricular septum. This is going to be our left ventricle and this is going to be our left atrium. If we were to follow our left ventricle, the left ventricle dumps into the aorta, so this is going to be our ascending aorta, our aortic arch, going down into the descending aorta, and eventually going into the abdominal aorta. This is going to be our IVC coming from below and our hepatic veins draining into that. The IVC will eventually go into our right atrium. From the top, if we were to go and continue going up, our, our right atrium becomes our SVC, and this will eventually become um, our left brachiocephalic, we'll have our subclavian, our internal juggler, and then also off of the subclavian will come up the vertebral vein, and that's this guy right here. The left will do something similar. Uh, we'll have our left subclavian, we'll have our left internal juggler, and then our left vert will come off of there as well. If we follow the aorta, we'll have a very similar pattern where we'll, what our typical pattern, and this is what we see in this situation, is our, this is our aorta, so our right brachiocephalic artery, our right subclavian artery, then we'll also have our right uh, common carotid, and then off of the uh, subclavian we'll also have uh, our vert, which is this guy right here. So the vertebral artery is a little bit smaller than our vein, uh, which makes sense uh, when we compare the arterial versus the venous anatomy. Here we'll have two arteries coming off. One will be our left common carotid, and then our left subclavian, uh, and then same thing, we'll have the vertebral artery coming off there as well. So in addition, what we'll see is coming off of the right ventricle, we're gonna have our main pulmonary artery. Main pulmonary artery is gonna branch into our right and our left uh, pulmonary arteries. There's many different branches that we'll see, which I'll go over in another video when I talk about uh, PEs. So before I show you all the different lymph nodes, here I'll have a few diagrams that will just kind of outline the major stations of the lymph nodes. So if you'll see, they all kind of follow either our vasculature or our bronchus. So th in this diagram, it's showing that it's well following our, our main our trachea and our main stem bronchi, and then also of our major vessels. So here, what we'll see is this is going to be our prevertebral uh, lymph node stations. And it, what, what's happening here is we're starting from the top and working our way down into the mediastinum. This is gonna be our prevascular, our right paratracheal, and our left paratracheal. Again, our prevertebral lymph node stations. Going down another few slices, we're still gonna have our prevascular lymph nodes, our right paratracheal, our left paratracheal, and then also our paraaorta station, and our, still our prevascular. Up here is gonna be our internal mammary vessels, and so that's gonna also follow our internal mammary nodes. And you'll see a lot of these are, are named pretty uh, astutely in terms of they're named after uh, whatever they're following or whatever structures they're following. Again, our prevascular, periodic, and then once we get um, past kind of this no longer see the arch, now that below that is going to be our AP or subaortic. Here's still going to be our left paratracheal or right paratracheal and our prevertebral. And this will be subcarinal, it's right below the carina. And then here are going to be all our hilar lymph nodes, uh, still our prevascular lymph nodes. And here, again, this is our paravertebral versus our prevertebral lymph nodes. So here I'm going to try to show you each of the different lymph nodes as I'm scrolling down. Essentially, this person doesn't have really any abnormal lymph nodes, but we have our prevertebral station here that's going to follow up and continue uh, to be prevertebral right here, and still prevertebral, prevertebral, and then we no longer have that station. So that's kind of the extent of the prevertebral. Here's going to be our periodic, 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 and then um, it's going to stop right there. 
And once we get down here, this is going to be our AP window or our sub aortic. If you can imagine the aorta, if we were to look at it in the coronal plane, it would go like this. So right below where the arch is, that's going to be where we're at right here. To the right of the trachea is going to be our right paratracheal lymph nodes. There's going to be a high right and a right paratracheal. Uh, for the simplicity, just this is going to be our right paratracheal. The important distinction is this is going to be our left paratracheal, so anything to the left of the trachea. If you'll see here, right and left is not divided evenly where it's not divided right in the middle of the trachea. It's actually anything from here to our right is going to be right paratracheal. Anything to the left of the trachea is going to be our left paratracheal. It may seem like a very um, unimportant distinction, but when you're staging cancer patients, if they have a left-sided cancer and you have a right paratracheal lymph node, even if it's right here, that's going to be uh, upstaging them in terms of their nodal metastases. Whereas if it's a left paratracheal, it's still on the same ipsilateral side. Whereas if it goes to a right paratracheal, then it becomes contralateral lymph node metastases. So it'll kind of upstage them. And when you start staging cancer patients, it'll become a little bit more clear. But just for, uh, for simplicity's sake, um, that's kind of the importance of it. Here we'll have our subcarinal lymph nodes. And then all of these guys in here are going to be our hyalur lymph nodes. I, I'm only pointing to vessels here, but um, the lymph nodes will kind of come in and out if there were lymph adenopathy. In this situation, there's not. So those, those are going to be where our hyalur lymph nodes would sit. Here, ours are going to be where our uh, internal mammary lymph nodes would be, if there are any. Another thing that's pretty common, or if, if these are cancer patients specifically, may be common, is they're going to be um, having supraclavicular lymph nodes, and those will kind of pop up right over here, right above the clavicle. Here's going to be our axillary lymph nodes going up and down uh, the axilla on both sides. And then there's a lot of cervical lymph nodes, which we'll, we'll talk about in another video. Here will be our prevertebral and then also our paravertebral lymph nodes. And then one thing that we shouldn't forget is also our cardiophrenic lymph nodes, which are typically going to lie in, in, in this uh, space right here. So that's just a general overview of kind of the major structures and also lymph nodes within the mediastinum. Um, and so hopefully that helped. Be sure to check out our website, medicalbasics.com, for more educational resources like our progress notebook. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and lessons.